For the structure of the cabana, we used wooden dowels and clear plastic tubing. It's easy to manipulate the plastic tubing, that way you get the angles you need for your cabana. The four sides are half inch dowels at 20 inches long. You'll need four of those. The bottom wall supports are half inch dowels at 18 inches long. You'll only need three of those because the dolls walk in through the front. The top square is the 5 16 inch dowels at 18 inches long and the X support at the top is the half inch dowels at 12 and a half inches long. We use the half inch tubing and the 5 16 inch tubing to slip the dowels into. These are really easy to bend so you can get all the angles that you need for the sides and to angle up to the top of the cabana. We're also able to put the smaller tubing into the larger tubing to create different pieces to fit the dowels into. This is what the plastic tubing looks like. You can get this from Home Depot or Lowe's and I've actually used this in several projects in the past. It's easy to cut the plastic tubing and then when we want to insert the smaller into the larger, we can drill a hole through the middle or just cut a little hole in the middle and slip it into. If you need to heat it up to make the plastic softer to bend it or to get the smaller piece in the larger piece, you can use a hair dryer. For the pattern, I started at the top and worked my way down. The first pieces are the triangles. You'll need four of these and I measured them at 20 inches long and then I found the middle piece at about 10 inches and I marked it. That way both angles were the right size. Once you trace out your triangle once, you can put it on your fabric and trace it three more times. That way all triangles are the same size. You'll need three pieces that are 20 inches by 22 inches. You'll need four pieces that are 14 by 14 by 20 on the bottom. Then you'll need two pieces that are 13 inches by 22 inches. We'll start by making three of the sides since they all have the same pieces. Put your fabric good side up on your surface then take your triangle and fold it down. That way the good fabric is facing the good fabric. Then you can hem these pieces together and you'll have a piece of fabric that looks like a house outline. The front is a little bit different. It has two pieces so it opens in the middle. You're still gonna sew it the same way but first you're going to hem the two sides in the middle. That way you don't have a raw edge once you sew it to the triangle. So this is what it looks like after you sew the opening and then you sew it to the triangle. So you have four sides now. They're all the same shape and size so they should all line up. Place the good sides together and sew from the top point of the triangle all the way down to the side. Repeat this step until your tent is closed. For extra detail, you can add rickrack or any type of trimming that you want, and I added this once the tent was completely sewn together. I also sewed on really fun buttons along the top of the tent. This allows you to hang lights or to hang any type of banners for a doll party. Make six to seven inch ties with your leftover fabric and then sew it onto the inside and outside of your tent. This allows you to pull the front flaps to the side and tie them back. You can also incorporate this step when you're actually sewing the sides of the tent together. Now your cabana is complete and your dolls can throw a fun party, whether it's in the backyard, at a sporting event, or on the beach. It gives them the perfect amount of shade and it can be taken apart and stored easily. You can visit our blog for a full list of all the materials needed and the measurements be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you think your dolls would love to have a cabana for their parties and subscribe to our channel to become an AGI crafter.